Well, here we are on day six, and I kind of left them to their own devices tonight. Um, and we, we did not have any negative interactions. Um, we did have some positive interactions, so that was good. Again, Alice is the one trying the hardest on this. Um, Mr. Shushu is not eating as well as I'd like him to eat, and so I'm not quite sure if that might be part of the issue we're having. Um, he seems fine when he's out exercising, but um, other than that, he seems rather lethargic to me. Don't you, Mr. Shu? And I have to wonder if you're not having a little bit of issues. <laughs> I remember when you first came to us, honey. You've had an interesting life. The first part was hard, and the second part has been real good. And now we're trying to continue that for you. For some reason, I always remember you bigger than you are. I don't know. You have dwarf ears, but you're not a dwarf, I don't think. And you have that little white spot on your nose. And you have a little mat there, don't you? <coughs> so, why don't you come visit Alice? <laughs> She's kind of in the corner there. So, we have these situations where they can definitely be together, but then she gets a little frustrated and starts to pick at him a little bit. And this is kind of in the way, isn't it, Alice, in Wonderland? Oh, I know. I'm sorry. Why don't you come right next to her then? And we'll end the night on some positive notes. Can we do that? Mr. Shu? Maybe if you could lick her, that would be a pretty positive thing, no? Come on. Be a good boy. I know you can be. You've been a good boy. And see, it's just, you know, when they lean into each other, they have that look of comfort. Can't really see it in the video. Oh, honey, look at that. That doesn't look good in the video. Take that out. It's when she gets a little frustrated with him that we have problems. I'd like to get some grooming on video since only Ginger and I and Deb have seen it. So this video might go a little longer than some of the others. <laughs> Don't do it till I know. She's a pretty girl that gets stressed pretty easily, don't you, little little one? You do. You need a little boy to help you out. When we came out of the carrier tonight, you guys went into the litter box together and you just snuggled with him because you were scared. And that's good, that's what we're going for, that you see comfort in being with him. And he's leaning into you right now. He sees comfort in that, too. But then you jumped out of the box. And you went back a couple of times and said hello, and we didn't have any fights, so that was good. So, Mr. Shu. You guys have an off night tomorrow. Everybody's off tomorrow. Kind of. We have to go do bunny rescue. He gets extra salad then. Yeah, I'm going to give him some cilantro tonight. He didn't eat much of his salad tonight. Which is odd because he's been eating at night and not in the morning. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe we'll let you out in the living room before you go to bed and run around. Get your gut moving, buddy. You're not going to groom her, are you, until I turn the camera off? Hi, sweetheart. Well, I suspect that right after I turn off the camera, he'll groom her, but we can't sit here all night waiting for it. So that's tonight's update, and this is, let's see, day six.